you want to change the world? Engineers are constantly looking for new and better ways to power the world around us. Solar energy is a sustainable solution for power now and way into the future. We took three kids to DuPont's Photovoltaic Solutions Lab in Wilmington, Delaware, one of the world's greatest solar power research facilities. Today, they'll meet scientists and engineers and get to build and test their own solar panels. Come along with us as we discover engineering. Meet Jen Norwood. She is a materials scientist here at DuPont's Photovoltaic Solutions Lab. She works hands-on improving the solar panels used around the world on a daily basis. Let's hear what she has to say when it comes to the future of solar power. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome to DuPont Photovoltaic Solutions Lab. I'm Jen and I'm gonna show you guys around and show you what we do every day. When we first came to DuPont, we met this engineer named Jen and I thought it was pretty cool that it was a girl because I thought mostly guys were engineers. So photovoltaics is turning light into energy that we can use. And this is a solar panel. DuPont makes lots of materials that go into this solar panel and we work to improve the materials and processes that are used to make them. So why don't we head into the lab and I'll show you what we do. Okay, so before we go into the lab, we need to put on all our personal protective equipment. Before we got in the lab, we had to put on these glasses and just kind of get used to them. And then um, we have to put on these fancy lab coats. It looks actually professional. I, I kind of liked it. I make lab coats look good. After a brief lab coat fashion show, the gang gets down to business. The weirdest part was um, there was a red and a blue side to the room. And the red side was for your street shoes. But then you had to put on these little boot thingies, and um, they could not touch the red side. They had to only touch the blue side because that's the clean side. So all the work that we do making solar panels is done in a clean room to keep any dust and contaminants off of the panels. So we're going to go through this, it's called an air shower, and you're going to actually get squirted with air, and we're going to knock off any dust before we go in. And then we had got into this air room that kind of got off all the dust so we wouldn't have like any extra on us when we went in. So the reasons that solar power is the energy of the future is because it's clean, it's sustainable, and it's available everywhere. Let me show you an example. Ladakh is the most difficult area of Ladakh, and the most difficult area of Ladakh. तो सबसे पहले हम मानते हैं कि सूरज तो मैं समझता हूं ये गॉड्स भगवान ने हमें सूरज दिया है उसका फायदा हम क्यों नहीं उठाएं मोजबेर एज द प्रोडक्ट दैट कैप्चर सन एंड प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी टू द रेजिडेंट्स देयर डुपॉन मटेरियल इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट व्हेन वी कंबाइन डुपॉन टेडलर एंड डुपॉन सोलोमेट बेस्ड we are making sure that the efficiencies are improved and it ensures that the panel is protected against the harsh climate of durbuk and ultraviolet radiation having grown up in a small town myself i understand how it is to live without power children need to study the mothers need to cook what better way to capture sun and provide energy across the globe यहाँ पे जो हमारा सोलर पावर पैनल लगने के बाद जो है दुर्भुक में यहाँ के लोगों के लिए की इंडिपेंडेंस है उसमें काफ़ी फायदा हुआ है आगे भी मेरे बच्चों को भी यही कहते हैं ये जमीन जो हम पैदा हुआ है यही हमारा सब कुछ दम दौलत है 
the video that we watched, I learned that in the Himalayas, summer was like paradise for them, but in the winter it was really harsh. I had no idea that solar power could change so many lives. All right, so now that we're all geared up, we are gonna make a mini solar module. And what we do here in the lab is we make these modules with our materials and we test them, we pretty much beat them up, and then we test them to see how they perform. So we start off with four silicon solar cells and I've soldered them together with ribbon to collect the electrons. Now silicon is a semiconductor and a semiconductor is a special material because when light hits it, it gives off electrons. And when we collect that, those electrons, basically we're, that's where we get our electricity from. So we move all the electrons through these metal uh, ribbons out through the back of the solar panel. And they actually come out through here. It's called a junction box. Jen explained to us all of the parts of the solar module. It was really cool to learn how they put it together. So there are different parts. Like I said, we've got the, sil the solar cells. We also have encapsulant. What encapsulant does is it holds the whole thing together, first of all, and it also keeps out any moisture. And you had to put like a lot of layers of plastic on it for like the weather, to protect it from the weather and all that. And protects the cell from, from physical damage. Back sheet goes on the back of the cell and protects it from weather. It also electrically isolates it. it. Keeps all the electricity flowing through the cell inside. We're leading the electrons out of the module through these back ribbons, so we need to isolate them. So Alyssa, do you want to, what we need to do is we need to get this under the ribbons and move it up. So do you want to do that? And shimmy that into place. Then she made us put together our own solar module. It reminded me a lot of the game operation. I was worried I was gonna get zapped. Great. All right, so we need our first layer of encapsulant. You wanna lay that right over the glass. I'm more of a hands-on type person. That's one of the things that I like about engineering. Engineers, they actually build things. They actually do hands-on. It's gonna physically protect it and protect it from moisture. So next, we need to shimmy the cell onto the glass. Sebastian, you wanna help me out? Now the next layer of encapsulant. Now we need to get those ribbons out of here, so I need you to cut down this way and then across, and we're gonna snake the ribbons right out the back. I had to cut the encapsulant so that we could fit the material through it, and it was actually pretty nerve-wracking because I didn't want to mess up the whole module. All right, Sebastian, why don't we feed these ribbons through the back sheet? together this solar panel and then we put it in this oven. We call it like the laminator and it was really weird but really cool. And then it closes and it starts heating it up. It was controlled by this computer that Jen was using and it just squished it and then like a little while later it just came out and then we powered a fan. It was really cool. Yes! Yeah. Oh, it worked? Yeah. Oh. It worked too well and it kind of like fell off. It really was. Does this look familiar? Yeah, it's like what we made in the lab. It's exactly what we made in the lab. It's just a lot of them strung together. So could this power a whole neighborhood? Yeah, this array would power about 20 houses. She said that it could actually power 20 houses. I mean, that's a lot. So we do a lot of testing in the lab to come up with the best materials to use to make the cells. But then once they're installed outside, we also have to do testing to make sure that they run properly. So that's what I'm going to show you guys now. This is a thermal imaging camera, and it'll show the temperature difference of anything you pointed at. So we can use it to help diagnose problems with the array. Um, if a cell is damaged, it may create a hot spot on the array, and we need to find those to remove them so that we make sure we have maximum performance. Cool. Sebastian, do you want to do it? Yeah. It's Sebastian's turn to play engineer and troubleshoot the solar array using the thermal imaging camera. Are those yellow box things the junction boxes? Yeah, that's the junction boxes where we collect the electricity. I think I found it. Yeah, that's it. It's right here, right? This is the hot spot? Yeah. That's where I put it. You look like an alien. <laughs> Next, the gang decides to troubleshoot Sebastian. <laughs> I think you found the real hot spot. <laughs> Sebastian is such a fool. 
Now that they've checked out how to build these incredible solar panels, let's show them what these things can do right in their own backyard. This local dairy farm and creamery powers their entire operation with solar power. So I wanted to bring you here to give you an idea that solar is great because you can use it in remote places where you maybe aren't able to get energy very easily like the Himalayas, but you can also use it right in your own backyard. To use solar energy, I thought you had to be in like the middle of a desert where it was super hot, but I learned that you can use it anywhere. I'm glad I had the opportunity to discover engineering. It was really fun. I think that engineering is something that I could really get into. It was really cool, and I'm really glad that I did this. So do you guys want to go get some ice cream? Yeah! So what do you think of engineering now, guys? It's delicious! <laughs>